Snow Peaks Medley, the world famous mountain climber, and I am determined to be the first individual to conquer Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain. These here high tech gadgets are gonna help me climb where no climber has clumbed before. Mmm, mmm. And there's nothing like warm homemade soup to give a climber pure energy to make it to the top. <laughs> Only a skilled climber like myself can endure these high, high altitudes. <laughs> Hmm, the air must be getting a mite thin. If I didn't know better, I'd think I was suddenly carrying extra weight. Huh? Well, I'll be a rival climber. You think you can beat me to the top by eating my soup and starving me off this here mountain, little fella? Well, guess what? Your scheme is not -a gonna work. Conniving little penguin, ain't he? Gimme! Now, this mountain ain't big enough for the both of us, small fry. I'll be climbing up that mountain. Yes, I will. Yes, I... Huh? What the... Yay! Now, hold on one hand grip stealing minute. Uh-oh. Huh? That little fella is not gonna beat me to the summit. Uh-oh. Ah! I'm gonna get you, you little cliff climbing soup never you. Oh! Phew. A professional climber knows there are good climbing days and bad climbing days. This is shaping up to be one of the latter. Ah! Give me back my food, you mountainside saboteur, you! Hmm, pretty loose snowpack for this high altitude. But my vast knowledge of the latest high-tech equipment has prepared me for any condition. <laughs> Let's see that little old amateur beat me to the top now. A seasoned climber knows how to listen to the sounds of the mountain. Hmm, that's not the wind. <laughs> hey, how'd you get up? <laughs> But what a seasoned climber knows most is when it's time to clobber the competition! <laughs> yup, almost to the tippy top. And this here gadget from the Climber of the Month Club is gonna get me up there before that penguin for sure. Huh? What gives? Oh! Oh, no, you don't! I'm getting to the top before you, you little... Uh-oh. Yay! Oh, no, little fella. That's not gonna work on me. A pro like Snow Peak Smedley knows you never, ever look down. <laughs> when nearing the summit, it's very important to be quiet as a snow mouse. Any noise could trigger a dangerous avalanche. Whew. 
It's a good thing you don't talk much, neither. You might have snowed us under an avalanche. Huh? With you ruining my ascent, destroying my equipment, stay away from me. Ugh! Yes, folks, we're about to check in on Snow Peak Smedley's world record climb up Mount Neverest. Wow, this is news, folks. The world famous climber Snow Peak Smedley has conquered Mount Never. Wait a minute, that's not Snow Peak Smedley, it's a penguin! <laughs> You've just become the first individual to reach the summit of Mount Neverest. What are you gonna do now? Sued Fizzle Electric Blanket 2000. So hot, it can cook breakfast in bed. Breakfast not included. Fizzle Electric Blanket 2000 not to be used by the sick, elderly, pregnant, bipedal, etc., 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 etc. Do you look good in floral print shirts and harem pants? Sure we all do. So why not warm yourself on the most beautiful beaches in the world? Visit these tropical islands. The islands are a perfect place to return to your primal self. Explore. <laughs> Stuff your belly, then sit back and let the UV rays saturate your brain. Get that golden brown tan you've always wanted. You'll be looking good and living life the tropical way. Still not hot enough? Hey there, you call me chef. Tired of the same old meat substitute? Here's a tip. Into a succulent meal is one ingredient. Finally, I can entertain some chums with a proper dinner party. And that secret ingredient is. <laughs> hmm, peculiar little character. <laughs> Finally uncovers the plot to sink Bowen Island. Diane, the madman behind all of this is. That boy's more aggravating than a bad case of shingles. And this is how you hula. A wiki, wiki. Such a polite little fella. Hold on just an ice picking minute. Looks like Christmas is coming early this year. Oh, ain't he as cute as a bug's ear? I'll just take him to his home and let him rest up. And now, our afternoon movie, Frigid Winter. Frigid Winter? That got a five ice cube rating. Oh, 
sakes alive. They just don't make them winner pictures like they used to. Huh? Now this here is the flake that broke the snowman's back. This berg ain't big enough for the both of us, Penguin. What's he waving for? That really shaves my eyes. Y'all catch my drift? The Tropical and Tropical, Limbo Dancing White House pages. Tonight, we reveal the answer to one of life's greatest mysteries. Are we alone in the universe? Do UFOs exist? The world wants to know. Professor Smith, do UFOs exist? As a gentleman, this shouldn't bother me. <laughs> That's the problem with penguin meat. It runs right through you. It's almost time for the lotto drawing. And tonight's South Pole lotto is worth $40 billion. You could buy a lot of fun in the sun with that money. But this will be your only announcement. You snooze, you lose. 14, 22, 64, 93, 56, 71. And the final number is... The vacation getaway of a lifetime! Only one thing a grown dog can do at a time like this. Sergeant, I have good news. You'll be receiving your first recruit today. Sir, thank you, sir! I trust you'll be on guard at all times. Sir, I will, sir! Nothing will get by me. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yep, barracks are all squared away and... Hmm? What's this? Hmm, what do we have here? A pint-sized private. Hmm, must be the new recruit. A lazy recruit! <laughs> this ain't no summer camp! Pan! What? Hmm, you're a snappy dresser. But where's your uniform, little buddy? No uniform? There we go, all field dressed and ready for action. So, get on the field. Now! Move it, move it, move it! There. Only working soldiers get into the barracks now. And I can't think of a better task than digging foxholes. It's a fundamental of core training. So, start digging foxholes! That boy's gonna do me proud. Solid digging. Good dirt placement? This is more of a tunnel than a foxhole. Wait a minute. You slacker! You're gonna be a hard case, I can tell. And the only way to break a hard case is with hard work. Now put on your pack and march, soldier! You need to learn discipline. 
You can't leave this area until you do this. <laughs> But let's make it a little more interesting for you. Come on, son. Show me what you got. Hmm. Way to be innovative, soldier. Smells like the mess hall's cooking up something good today. I do not have to take this. I outrank him. You say that, soldier? Looks like a snowball, right? Well, it ain't. This is the core sacred weapon. The Skeeter Bomb. You turn this dial, and ten seconds later, boom! A cloud of mosquitoes breaks out. It's the last thing the enemy would expect down here in the cold Antarctic. Skeeters. Now for a little target practice. Annihilate the targets on the firing range. This is what the core is all about. No, 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 you missed the target entirely. Yo, hit the bunker. Oh. It's coming! Skeeter! You're coming with me to a place where sleeping is not an option, soldier. I am going to personally make sure you do this exercise correctly. You'll be in my sight the whole time, cause you're jumping with me. Another two miles, and we jump! Wait! What are you waiting for? Pull the card, soldier! I said pull the card! You want to sleep, huh? You'll never sleep under my command again, soldier, because there'll be nowhere left to sleep. <laughs> I got you. I win. I win. I win. <laughs> Sergeant Hogwash, what is the meaning of this? Be my skis. So I blow up the base, sir. You what? Guards? No more sleeping and no more nothing. Base kaboom. All kablooey. Kablooey. For withstanding that pig's command, I'm promoting you to base drill sergeant. I commend you on your bravery, soldier. Carry on, soldier. <sighs> New recruit, P-Bear, reporting for duty, Sarge. What are my orders of the day? <laughs> yes, sir, sir. Uh, right away, sir. <laughs> What a cold Christmas this turned out to be, especially in the Arctic regions. One thing's for sure, Santa's got it made in the shade this year. The jolly old elf's toy delivery route will take him around the world, including stops in warm spots like the Bahamas, San Tropez, and Bora Bora. Guess we'd all like to ride along with him this Christmas. Ah! 
Santa makes the list, but as head elf of this here workshop, it is my Christmas duty to check it twice. Naughty, naughty, nice. Why, looky here. Little Robbie gets a paddle ball. Hmm, eye hand coordination never was my strong suit. The great thing about this toy is that it feels so good when you stop. I better get back to work if and I want to be Santa's exclusive ride-along helper this year. Hmm? Now, now there, little fella. Santa's got a rule against peeking at presents before Christmas. Yup, I'm sorry, but you gotta make like you're under the mistletoe and kiss off. Huh? Ouch! I'm telling you for the last time, this here sack is not for peekers. I'm gonna send this penguin all the way to springtime. The holiday season is not the best time to take up running. Oh, Smedley! Smedley! Smedley, where are you? Uh. Now, Smedley, there's no time to lay about on the job. There's work to be done. <laughs> you need to finish up the gift list while I get ready for my midnight ride. Ah, hi, Mr. C. Right away, sir. I gotta work extra diligent like now so as I can get to ride along with Santa Claus. Doggy, check. Ah, uh, ain't he cuter than a bug's ear? Ducky, check. <laughs> Kinda reminds me of Aunt Mabel's Thanksgiving dinner. Not nearly enough stuffing. Pangu Penguin? <laughs> Looks like I got me a misfit toy. This is what we elves call an occupational housing. You are hankering to be numero uno on Santa's naughty list, aren't you? Here's one finely crafted airplane. <sighs> yes, sir. With my attention to detail, Sam is sure to pick me as this year's ride along elf helper. Uh -huh. Usually it's the tree that gets trimmed, not the elf. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. I'll ground that penguin for sure. Uh -huh. Whoa! I say, whoa! Uh-oh. In your face, penguin. Uh, yeah, uh, my abashed apologies, sir. Smedley, what have I told you about playing with the toys? They're for the good boys and girls. Now please, get back to work. If that little penguin thinks he's got the best of this elf, he's barking up the wrong chimney. So, he wants to get in this bag, does he? Well, the only sure way to stop a penguin is chemistry. If and I whip me up here some super sticky glue, I'll trap him like a fly in molasses. <laughs> Tree sap. Icky goo. Puss and stuff. Chewing gum. Nitroglycerin. 
Smedley, I want to thank you for all your hard work this Christmas. But you look so tired. Take the rest of the night off. Ho, 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 ho. But, but I... Ho, 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 ho. Huh? Wait, Santa, wait! Make sure you give that chili nothing but call for Christmas. Whoa! You hear me? Nothing but cold, hard call. 